Hello, welcome to another Verisys video. My name is Rob Snowert. Today I'm going to talk to you about the audit log that's in Verisys. So the audit log is a, a, a method for which we keep track of what users do. So the first thing that you, you should probably do with your uh, system is to give each user a special login or a special um, password. So here I'm going to log in to my demo panel. And let's uh, talk about that. So if you're going to, let's say you have three users on your, on your system, you'll want to go into the settings and into the administration and make sure that you have three users set up here for, um, so you can keep track of each different individual that's going into the system. If everybody was to log in like I just did underneath the admin password, it doesn't differentiate which user is doing what. So it's a very important that if you're going to make the audit log meaningful, that every user has its own their own password. So now I'm going to jump over to the audit log. The audit log is a file that uh, is a file that you uh, um, that you get from the Smart Building Hub. So you have to be on a PC. This will not work on a phone or an iPad or any other thing besides a PC. So to do this, you simply click on download and you will see a file come down called audit log and it'll be a text file. That file will be located underneath um, your download directory on your PC. So there you could simply open it and open it with any kind of a text editor, and this is what you will see. So the data that's all been coming in has been added into this text file, and so you can go through and you can search for it based off of somebody's name. Now I know many of you right now are saying, boy, this, this is just crap. So uh, it all comes into a text file in this way for a specific reason. You will notice that if we can catch and find some of the commas, so there's a comma, that'll separate various parts of the data. So it's all just compacted into this text file. And there's commas in there. So uh, um, what you can do with this is you can change it to what's called a CSV file, comma separated variable file. And I'm going to say, yes, I want to change it. Yes, I want to really rename it. And when I do that, it will pull open Excel. And one nice feature about Excel is that I need to really get on a real network in order for Excel to pull up. So I don't know why that is, but it wants to see the Internet. So I had to switch off my smart building hub to Excel so I could get it to come up. So anyway, that's one of them unwritten uh, features of Excel is to make sure you're on a network when you open up a file. Um, that said, uh, it will start with the first item in. So you can kind of see some date and time stamps on, on this. In this case, uh, 7-21-2016 was uh, when we first when I first started using this particular uh, smart building hub, it's been one that I've been using for testing for a long time. So it's been keeping track of what I may have used it for. So there's a lot of data in here. We'll uh, go ahead and uh, come down to the latest date. So the latest date was just now when I logged in. So you can see through here that there's a number of things, you know, that this admin had used. And, you know, if you had multiple names or some other people in here, it would show up. So there we go. That's that JM Oper logged out. So that would happen to be the other user that was on, on Smart Building Hub. But since I connected to a different network, I can't show you that. 
So if you remember, I had a second user. Now I can see what that user had done. But you can see right here that uh, the real reason why you'd want to have, you know, multiple uh, users so that way you can keep track of what it is they're doing. Anyway, this concludes uh, showing you what the audit log is all about and how to use it effectively. Hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you watch more Verisys videos. Thank you.